So maybe you've been going through your bank statement and noticed a charge from Apple iTunes and you had no idea where it came from and how to cancel it. So we wanted to do a quick video just to go over um, some tips to help you figure out where these charges are coming from uh, and how to cancel them. So let's dive in. So the first thing you can do is go to your Apple ID and check uh, just recent purchases. So to do that, uh, you wanna hop into the settings app. So once you've hopped into the settings app, tap your Apple ID uh, and then tap iTunes and App Store. Uh, once you're here, tap your Apple ID there at the top again and then hit view Apple ID. So once you're in, scroll down a bit and you'll see an option that says purchase history. Tap that and then all of your recent transactions on your Apple ID will show up. So you can scroll through here and just see if anything looks out of place that uh, maybe you didn't purchase or if you've got a spouse or a family member that uses your Apple ID, maybe that they didn't purchase. So if you see something that doesn't look like it's supposed to be there, uh, it's a good idea to just check and see if there's a device using your Apple ID that you don't recognize. So in order to check that, go back to the settings page and then tap your Apple ID again. And then here, if you scroll down, you will see all of the devices that are logged in using your Apple ID. So if you see something that looks like it shouldn't belong, you can go ahead and tap on it and then there's an option to remove that device um, from your uh, Apple ID. So once you do that, that device will disappear. Now, if there is something that you don't recognize or a device that uh, maybe somebody else has logged in using your Apple ID, it's a good idea after you remove that device to go ahead and reset your Apple ID password. So we did a video recently going over how to reset your Apple ID if you've lost access to it, but there's also some instructions there on how to reset your Apple ID. So uh, check that video out if you need help with that. So the other thing I wanted to go through here is how to look at app subscriptions and cancel those. So you may be subscribed to an app or a service that you forgot about. Uh, and so I wanna show you how to get in and just cancel that. So again, go to the settings app uh, and then tap on your Apple ID. And here you'll see right there towards the top, the subscriptions option. So once you tap that, you're gonna have all of the subscriptions that you are you know, currently subscribed to pop up. So you can go through here and you know if you see something that you don't need anymore, uh, again, you can tap on that and you'll have a, an option to cancel that subscription. So go ahead and do that, hit confirm, uh, and then that subscription will stop. Now, most of these you'll still have access to maybe for a week or two until the next month uh, ends and then that subscription will disappear. All right, guys, so just a quick video there just to show you some tips on how to get rid of some charges on your bank statement from Apple that you may have not been aware of and just wanted to get rid of. So uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.